Greetings Aussie fans, Sharky here, welcome back to Sharky's Garage. I'm still out with Mr. Liam Pickering and this is a build that he has recently completed. The video on it he put out but this is the first time he's really getting a chance to send it. So tell us a little bit about the build. So the build itself is a um, RBRC Jeep roll cage with, the, with their custom panelling. For ESC wise, I'm running a Camtech ESC which came with the original chassis for my Speedy D12 which the video is now out on my channel. Links in the description yeah. below. Inside is a WPL 2 speed gearbox. Cool. With again a... Because we like our WPLs don't we? Yeah. With a FTX Outback 1 motor again. So the 370 from the Outback 1. Yep. Yeah got metal gears inside the gearbox I think they were another JR JJRC no not JJRC the what I said the roll cage was oh yeah yeah then uh, it runs a small battery up at the rear I can fit a longer one but I will have to move the receiver for it right 3d printed parts on it because you do a lot of 3d printing don't you mm. and designing are the rims and Which the are stunning and the lower links as well and they're all 3d printed yep when i first took it out i had a little accident with the plastic truss so i ended up making some metal well it was minus two when you shot that. yeah it was minus two and it and the cold does stuff to plastic i do need to order myself some metal ones and you I've, see there it's a wpl rear axle yep it's it was um it was a donor C34, I think it was. I got the entire drive line. I think the links were from the C44, yeah. the top links. I had to bend it because, uh, or underneath the battery, you can't really see it. But the gear shifter doesn't, doesn't, uh, it's round about there. But the gear shifter was catching, so I was only getting low range out of it. Yep, which was fine and dandy, but you want more power, you want more speed, you want higher gear. Yep. Uh, You're running the same uh, shocks on that that you were running on the C34 that you yep. saw in my, or people will have seen in my last video. The, they, the thing is, they're so, so soft, so flexible. What gear oil are you running? Do you know? Do you remember? Just marine grease throughout everything, okay. and then shock oils, what, what whatever came in them when they were... Okay. They were Stock. Those tyres look interesting. I haven't seen anything quite like those. Well, these these have been the bane of my life to try and find tractor tyres for WPL. So yeah. tractor tyres, these are Playmobil tractor tyres? Yeah. The thing is, they come in 12 different sizes. You can order them on the Playmobil spare site if you know the part number. Right. But if you don't know the part number, good luck for looking through manuals online. But I've had five or six different sets ranging from something tiny like that all the way up to and these were the largest ones they do. And these are roughly around about one by five size. Cool. Drive lines, like I said, were from the C34. Yep. But when the C34 arrived, I found out they actually made a longer drive shaft for the rear of the C44 to be used for the single transmission. Right, okay. Which almost made me want to extend the wheelbase even more. Yeah, it's got fairly long wheelbases as it is for, for the size long, of it. It's longer than any WPL standard wheelbase. Yeah. Even the 6x6, six six, if you put a 6x6 six six next to it, the, uh, it's, the rear axle is in between the middle of the two wheels. Okay, cool. Uh, servo up front is a tiny 9 gram metal gear servo, which... Is that a WPL one or is that just No, a that, that was a generic one yep. but because of the longer wheelbase i'm having problems with the front arch hitting the uh, servo horn on compression right okay but how are you going to serve that are you going to may trim may trim the front grille or just send it how it is yep. because there's not that much shock compression afterwards it it droops more than it does or it's more yeah. of a droop set up than yeah, and there's no way really, because if you're looking from that side there, there ain't a lot of room. 
at the back there even if you tried to drop the servo slightly and if you drop it any more underneath you've got the um esc mount right above it so you can't ah, yeah, yeah you can't drop it at any more than i have yep unless because you do a shorter wheelbase yeah. but then the so servos... you're using fly sky again for your yeah. duty 3c because you know multiple models and stuff like that the only problem I have is I've ripped the antenna off in my accident, so it's got a shortish range. But, but still, fun for what you're doing with it. Still good cool. enough for what we're doing. So, uh, shall we see what it what it's capable of then? Mm. So, uh, I'll, start, I'll start from over here and go on. Okay. Oh, cool. wait, no, there's no way down. That's... No, there's no way down. So can... Actually, do you want to do it from here and up to there? But like I said, these Plymouth Field tyres are a little bit hard, so grip-wise, for crawling, it may not be the best. But, for what I built it for is going fast in the mud. They which, were... which hopefully we'll find some of that in a bit as well. Yeah. As long as you don't break it up here. I not promise anything. But this is all in low range with the FTX. Yeah. Um, weight of this metal cage and everything, I don't think it will hit 15. No. Maybe we'll see that. No, the USC can handle it for you. What about the uh, Resident 3 on 3S? Is it it's something we've had? Um, I mainly changed all the electronics out of the WPL, but I've kept the um, electronics in the one of the D12s. That runs very, very nicely with it. Yeah. Right, I'll mm -hmm. pause that there. Well, front universal on this. Oh! Oh, flipped it. Oh, on. Oh, 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 you can do it. I know you can get back on the wheels. There. No. Oh, 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 oh. Right, it may be a it's little bit too hot top heavy to mm -hmm. get it back on its wheels. try and do is send it over this bump here. Yeah. Um, Separate clip. Here we go. Yep. Nice recovery. Got a really good uh, bunny hop off the back end there. Nice soft extension. Again. Yeah, because you want to play in the mud and all the other stuff that it's, yeah. that it's built to do. Well, you want to send it up some hills like run because that's what rock bounce is for. Yep. Mm -hmm. What, one more jump? Right. Did you just see a puff of smoke come out the back of that? I did see something come out the back there. Yep. Uh, that looks 
looks like the front steering link just went. So, unfortunately, the end result of that is the servo horn's gone. Um, so unfortunately, you can't get metal ones for 9 gram servos, I believe. So, now, what we need there is to talk to somebody who can make them. Mm. Somebody like, perhaps, Alfonso Fritas at Fonzie's Maybe. RC. Fonzie, um, need to talk to Liam. Let's see what we can get done, hey? So, unfortunately, uh, that fall has broken the servo horn. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a spare one with us. Uh, Liam's going to try and do a ghetto repair using a cable tie because he's got some water here he wants to run through. In case that doesn't happen, I'll do my outro now and uh, wish you all the best. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, all links to Liam's socials will be down in the description. Go over, check his stuff out, give his channel a like, give his channel a subscribe. Have a look at the, the uh, build on this project and I'll catch you all soon. So, cable tie ghetto fix has been done. It is now cable tied so it's straight. It feels so weird not being able to steer it. Just use the body, body roll on it to steer through the water, and I've lost the drive. Oh, and a and wheel. wheel. <laughs> and at that point, folks, I think we'll call it a day.